When students move from understanding multiplication using whole numbers as factors to using decimal values smaller than one or mixed numbers as factors, it is important for them to understand that the new place value does not change what they have already learned about how multiplication works. Multiplication can be visualized as an array. For example, 2 times 3, or 2 groups of 3, can be modeled using base 10 blocks, where the flat represents the whole as 2 groups of 3. Creating the array where our flats represent our holes, we have a base that is three whole units long and a height that is two whole units long for an array that is six whole units. So let's apply this visual model to multiplication involving decimal values. The expression 2 times 2 and 5 tenths, or 2 groups of 2 and 5 tenths, can be modeled by representing the base of our array as 2 flats and 5 rods, or 2 whole units and 5 tenths of a unit long, and using one flat, two flats, or two whole units to represent the height. By completing the array, we can find the total amount this expression is equivalent to. After completing the array, I can express the total as a common unit of rods. Ten rods, 20 rods, 30 rods, 40 rods, 45, 50 rods. So it is equivalent, 2 times 2 and 5 tenths is equivalent to 50 tenths or 5 holes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tenths plus 5 tenths would make the final whole. By building on student understanding of the array model from multiplying decimal values, students can extend their learning to multiplying a mixed number by a mixed number using base 10 blocks. Let's model the expression 1 and 2 tenths times 2 and 5 tenths. In modeling the expression, the base of my array is two whole units and five tenths of a whole unit, or two whole flats, or two flats and five rods. The height of the array is one whole unit, or one flat, and two tenths of the flat, or two rods. When I complete the array, I notice that there is a section that can no longer be filled by rods because the rods are too big. So I will use a smaller unit of unit cubes. After completing the array, the array I can describe the total amount using the common, smallest common unit of unit cubes. So I would have 12 units by 25 units, or a total of 300 unit cubes, or 300 hundredths, which is equivalent to three holes. So 1 and 2 tenths times 2 and 5 tenths is equivalent to three holes. To model a decimal value less than 1 multiplied by another decimal value less than 1, for example, 6 tenths times 3 tenths, you would need to build an array with a base 
that is three tenths of the whole by a height that is six tenths of the whole. When modeling this, remember that a rod is one tenth of the entire area of the flat, but the edge of a unit cube is one tenth of the length. So to have so to have a base of three tenths, it would be three units long. For the height of six tenths, I would construct a height that is one, two, three, four, five, six units. I cannot complete the array using rods because they are too big, so I will continue the array using unit cubes. So an array that is three tenths of the whole long by six tenths of the whole gives me a total of the common unit of 18 unit cubes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, or 18 hundredths. So the expression 6 tenths multiplied by 3 tenths is equivalent to 18 hundredths. If we're using base 10 blocks, where the flat represents our whole, you'll want to be aware that multiplying by a factor that includes hundredths will not be able to be shown using this manipulative. To illustrate this, look at an array of 1 and 2 hundredths times 2 and 1 tenth. To model this, Our base would be two holes and one tenth of, an, of a hole long. However, we cannot model the height by using unit cubes as hundredths. Because as we discussed the before, the unit cube is one hundredth of the entire area. But to show the length, the unit cube represents one tenth of the length of the flat. So this actually represents one and two tenths as a length. To represent hundredths, we would need a value or a manipulative smaller than a unit to model this array.